Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, I have for you today, excuse my squeaky chair, I have for you today a pretty nice sized um, craft and art supply haul. Um, this has been accumulating over a few months. <laughs> this all didn't just come in one day. Um, and as things have trickled in, I've set them aside and thought, well, when I get enough stuff, I'm going to sit down and do a haul with all of you. And then, of course, you know, the hospital thing happened. But, okay, let me pull aside some of these. So, I will let you see all of these here momentarily. We'll go through them all one by one. But, um, first, I'm going to show you. Hold on a sec. I've got all this stuff out of my way, I tell you. My craft center is definitely going to be revamped. Oh yes, and I have something else to show you that I got for my birthday. Um, um, that I didn't show you guys yet. Let me get this little planner thing out of my way. Yeah, also, let me get to that first because I will forget to show you. Excuse the noise. Oh, maybe I'll get to it. Hold on. Oops, I am so sorry. I just bumped y'all. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. I have... I'm going to try to pick it up around the tripod without bumping all of you. But last, like, winter, I got some paints. But also for my birthday, I got a lot of these. If you can see them. These apple barrel. I had a whole huge kit of these so I got a lot a lot of paints and I put them in this nice little decorative box I have a lot of paints now <laughs> so I got that for my birthday let me try to set this back here without bumping all of you like working around my tripod all right okay let me zoom in a little bit okay but not too much so you can't see. All right. I will eventually get to using my new camera down there. But for now, we'll use the old-fashioned iPad. Anyhow, I got this, ooh, it's probably been a couple months now, off of Peachy Cheap. As many of you know, I love Peachy Cheap. Um, these wonderful Illustrated Faith, um, cardstock paper pads and I've not opened any of them up I was saving them to open them on camera with all of you so let me go ahead and do that now and I hope my camera doesn't die out on us because I just um, filmed another video so I'm just hoping it doesn't die on us if it does well I'll have to record it re-record it I should say but let me get these opened up here real quick. Probably should have done this already, but you know. Come on, little bugger. There we go. They put that sticker tape on pretty good. All right. Let me get the other one. Yeah, I love like PGT, but I have a variety of shops here today to share with you that I um, got some stuff on some great sales and um, oh, in addition to my junk journaling and my collaging I enjoy doing I'm also going to start making some cards that I want to sell in my Etsy and I want to start an art journal but I'll share with you all those supplies so this illustrated faith um, cardstock it's a six by eight pad and you get 12 designs. So this is lovely. I will, I hope my lighting is good in here today. It's not, we're having a very overcast cloudy day today, rain and everything. So this says, the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul. I love that, that's beautiful. And, um, these are not double-sided, but 
oh yes they are never mind I lied they are double sided but they're plain on the back so if you did want to use this you know depending on how you wanted to use this as a card you could actually use this as you know turn this whole thing into a card or however you want to do it so they are double they are double sided my bad so there's that one and this one has all of the gospels and the books of the old and new testament very nice i like that and that's the you get on the back this one is a bunch of really pretty butterflies and like this could even be used it doesn't have to even be like a faith or a religious journal you could use this for anything and there is that pretty like like dusty pink you hear again cactus um my soul thirsts for you that's beautiful and there's that pretty green I love that here are some flamingos it says be courageous to stand tall so that's that and there's the back here again is one that doesn't necessarily have to be used in a prayer journal pretty flowers you could use it in anything really and here again is that dusty pink here are some eyeglasses Jesus is so cool oh that is cute and that's just black on the back Jesus loves me and these cute little hearts we'll just flip through this and you get a bunch of numbers here again this doesn't have to be used in a prayer journal here's a lot of little quote boxes be patient I am with you so this is more but and here we get you know the abbreviations for the Gospels and the books of the Old Testament here we get some arrows and hearts and on the back of that is like an orange color here we and I think that just repeats yeah it does so that's that one let me put that back there and here is our other one this I love of course you guys have to know why I got this one right the typewriter of course that sold it for me and this also is double-sided as well just plain on the back so and here's this this little unique design and here's the typewriter keys which I love and again these ones don't have to be just you know for faith or whatever these can be this little interesting design or if you don't want that you can flip it over and use this so if there's a design in here you don't like there you go pretty little flowers music which you know I'm gonna distress and use in one of my junk journals and this beautiful font and print bicycles numbers oh, just this interesting like kind of snowflake you like interesting cool design interesting little design little like crosses or plus signs whatever you want to and then it repeats so there you go those are my little paper pads I got from Peachy Cheap and again I think I paid like you know seven dollars for them so next we have I got these from Michaels this is paper house um, let me make sure you guys can I have a pillow on the back of my chair that helps my back and so I'm adjusting it let me just zoom you in so you can see these a little better um, but these I got because with autumn coming up I thought these would be nice in cards or little bookmarks I'm gonna make and they are puffy I love puffy stickers they're so squishy these are beautiful I love these I got these on sale like I think I paid like 40 cents for them love Michaels and then I got these beautiful foiled fall leaves very pretty these are the recollections brand you get 22 pieces so and again my postman he kind of smashed them a little bit there but I'll work them out and get that crinkle out of them um also I got <clears throat> I got these from Walgreens just a little brush set and I haven't opened any of these so we'll go ahead and open them up but just some brushes to use when painting or Mod Podge some of my brushes I got this past winter you know I used them up I used them so much that they just got you know they just get bad after a while so you get um, one like that 
another one that's about the same size as this one. I think all three of these are about the same size. A little bit different. This one's a little more flared. And then you have this size. hope you're seeing all this. And then there's this one. It's a little bit bigger. I like the square. You know, they're great for Mod Podge, which I do a lot of stuff with Mod Podge. And then a bigger one. So yeah, I got these from um, Walgreens. Actually, when I got back from... Oh, I didn't tell you guys this in my medical story in my last video. Yeah, I get out of the hospital and guess what happens? I ended up getting strep throat, you know, a couple days after getting out of the hospital. So I end up sick with strep throat. Lovely. So that kind of slowed my recovery time down. And let's see what else do I want to show you. Oh, yes. Also, I got some more brushes. These I got off of dickblick.com. These are Princeton Art and Brush Company. I hope you can see all of that. Real value. These are natural hair camel. So I have never had like this. So, and they, oh, I would suggest going there. It is so, so, so affordable. So let me take these out. Again, I like I said, I've not opened up anything. So, yeah, these are natural camel hair. You can use them with acrylic, watercolor, and tempera. Um, a, a number six round, a five-eighth inch wash, and a one-inch wash. And this is how they look. So these are very nice. I've never had, you know, oops, this one has a little... But they're, they're interesting. They're, you know, a little hard, you know, harder than what I'm used to. But then once you start moving it around or whatever, it softens. So that's different, but nice. Well, I guess you don't need that little plastic bit there. And then it comes with this size. Again, you just have to, you know, break them up and kind of get them used to being moved. I will have to research how you work with camel hair. Um, brushes because I've never used these before so any artists out there know how to use these you know comment down below and let me know but yep these are what I got you know they're just like student brushes they're not professional or anything but hey they're good enough for me because I'm not going to be making any like I am going to be selling stuff but so I'll probably keep that packaging because I like keeping packaging I'm weird <laughs> Okay, and also what did I get here? Let me make sure we're still recording because like I said, I have another recording on here and I know how my camera can be with space. So, for those of you color lovers, I just simply got one of each to try them out. I got these off of Dick Blick as well. I got a, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I got a Prisma color. This is the Pink Rose. Um, if you'd like to know the number, it's PC1018. And then I also got, oh, I've been wanting one of these forever, a Faber-Castell. And this one is, did it say the... Uh, the number on it, it oh, it's um, medium flesh is the color, 9201-131, for those of you that want numbers. I have been wanting to try these for so long. I've heard so much about like Faber-Castell and Prisma, so I am just going to swatch them. Ooh, that's nice and smooth. Ooh, very nice. That was the Prisma color. And here's the Faber Castell, which is supposed to be oil paint, oil, I believe. Yeah, this is very similar to my Marco Ruffin, but the Prisma, at least this one, is actually softer than the Faber Castell. Hmm. There you go. So I got myself one of these each. You know, over time I might build up a collection, but 
you know, I just wanted to try them out because everybody talks about them and I was like, you know, I just wanted to try them so bad to see what is the difference, what is the hype, and also is there one particular brand that I really want to color with and use in my coloring. So there you go. I got that. Now, I have been really interested in the possibility of getting into art journaling, which is slightly different than junk journaling. Where junk journaling, both of them you kind of just do your own thing. You just throw stuff down and you have fun with them. But from what I've seen, the art journaling, let me just open up this little bag here, is a little bit, you know, it does have a little more to it than just the junk journal. You know, like the junk journal, you can just throw down some paint, slap some stuff on, and like, boom, you're done. And again, it's junk, which, hey, we all love junk, right? <clears throat> but the art journaling does have a little more to it. And also some of these tools I may be using in uh, my cards that I'm going to be making. So first of all, I wanted to share with you, let me just open it up here, try to, come on now, <laughs> alrighty then, we'll get it opened, maybe, I'm trying to get it to where I can open it but not, um, not ruin the pages, you know, I don't want to ruin my pages. And this I also got from Dick Blick as well. Um, okay, got it, finally. And I just got a little small one to start because I want to make sure that I'm really going to like art journaling. I'm not going to put a lot of money into the stuff and then I find out I don't like it. This is... Let me just move this for a minute make sure you can see everything. This is a moleskin. I have never used an actual moleskin. I've never owned one. Art Collection Watercolor Album. This is, it's 135 pound paper. Um, and you see it has a little open thing here. Let's see if it says on the back. There's 60 pages in this. 135 pound paper, 25% cotton fiber. Cold pressed on both sides of the page, acid-free. Expandable inner pocket. Hmm. And the history of Moleskine is on the inside. So, alright. Let's see here. Let's let me cut this. To open it up. Okay. Okay. All right. So here's what it looks like on the inside. Like I said, I've never used one of these. I've seen them in art journal um, videos, and I've seen a lot of people like study bloggers and stuff use these. And here you can put your your address or whatever on the inside, but here. This is a very different type of paper. It's kind of like textured in a way. It's very different than what I'm used to. So I don't know how that's going to be with art journaling. If any of you have ever used one of these, let me know. How do you like it? Um, you know, and then of course here in the back um, is the is this little pocket they were talking about. You have a little pocket here you could put stickers in or different things here and then here's the uh, um, the history of the Moleskine and what have you. So and it's uh, of course in different languages. But there you go. It's a little pocket, a little tiny sticker thing here. So that's that. That's my little Moleskine. I'm gonna try it out to do art journaling with all of you. So I am excited to try this. I know it's kind of small and I can have it go either way. I can have it go this way if I want to do a picture. I can have it go this way. So that is kind of neat, but it's small. It's a start. 
like I said, I don't want to invest a whole lot into something that I may or may not like. If it turns out I really enjoy the hobby, then I will look into investing in a bigger one. But for now, that's that. In regards to art journaling, I also got myself a little, like, metal scraper thing. Um, what is it called? A painting knife. I'm sorry. You have to excuse me. This was also from... Uh, Dick Blick Arts, Blick Art Supplies. Um, this is a Haley, it is actually by Blick, um, and it's a number four for any of you. So I just got myself a one, again, to start. I'm not going to waste my money on something that I may or may not like. So there we go with that. Um, I also got myself some Ranger Archival Ink to make my cards. So, and this I know for sure whether I like art journaling or not, I'm going to keep this because I use paint, or I mean I use, um, you know, ink all the time in junk journals and, and for cards and tags and everything. So there's that, and here's how it looks when you open it up, which I'm sure most of you know this. Just a general ink, ink pad. And I've heard this is really, really good because it's acid free, it is permanent, and it's also waterproof. So I went with this instead of some of the others. Um, I've just heard it's really good to use for a variety of what I am going to use it for. Then I also got for Rum Ranger as well. Now these, these, uh, the Ranger and this I got from Amazon. Um, this is texture paste. You get in here, you get an opaque mat, you get a transparent mat, and then you get the transparent gloss. And I thought this was nice, it came in three, and it way it give me, you know, the experience of trying all three without expending a whole lot of money. So let's go ahead and open these up. I've never used any of this stuff, this is all brand new material to me. <laughs> but it might be nice to use in my art journals or my... Um, you know, even my cards, I don't know what I'll um, use it for, but, so, and again, I don't know anything about any of this stuff, so, you little crafters out there, this is what the, this is the opaque mat, where did I put that? I don't know if this will be able to show up or anything, kind of my little... I don't know. So this is the, oh, it's very hard. Is it supposed to be hard like that, guys? Oh, that is interesting. Okay, that's different. Again, I've never used any of this. So I have no idea what it's supposed to be like. Okay. Different for me. The building dimensional textures okay and here's the transparent mat but oh this one is different this one is much softer so that one this first one was the opaque mat this is the transparent mat it's like gooey it's interesting oh you guys see in all that that's the opaque one that's the this is the transparent yeah. Okay. I don't know, guys. This is all brand spanking new to me. But we're going to test it out. We're going to learn how to use all this. And, whoa, this is interesting. This is the gloss. So this just, I guess, adds shine to your thing. Uh, very cool. So, there you go. I have no idea, guys. I'm going to have fun with learning how to use this stuff and create with it and use it on cards and junk journals or art journals. And ooh, there you go. Let me get a wipe here and wipe all that off. I want to make sure I keep my tools nice and clean. We're still recording. That's good. You know, I want to make sure I keep everything nice and clean. And this is just an old envelope. It doesn't matter. I'm going to throw it out. But that is definitely interesting. That's all I can say. Hmm. All right.
Alrighty then. Different. Something different I'm going to have to learn. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is going to be fun. Okay. All right. And in regards to the art journaling, make sure that's clean. Um, I got a couple of little sets, things to use for my art journaling and for card making as well. So I got a Recollections, this of course came from Michaels, a Recollections stamp set. You got um, one, two, three stencils, and then you got these beautiful border stencils. Look how pretty these are. These are so pretty. And I've not opened up or used any of these yet. I was waiting to open all of them up with all of you. So the stamps you get, um, let me flip it another way so you can see it better. Um, let me just, hold on, let me just open them up. I have not figured out how I'm going to store any of this stuff yet. That is one thing in my next video I'm going to talk about is things I'm doing for, for storage. Um, yeah. Okay, here is, let me put these ones aside. These are the stamps you get. And these are the, um, these are like those like jelly-like stamps. I've never used any of these before. Again, I've only had wooden stamps. You know, and as a preschool teacher, you know, I didn't have any of these types of stamps. But these are, you know, these little jelly-like stamps. And I do not yet have a, you know, a thing to press down. You know, I forget what that's called, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But there's your stamps. You get this pretty border. Hello, sunshine, love, embrace the journey, do more of what you love, celebrate, be brave with your life. And then these cute little keys, as you all know, I love like vintage Victorian Regency. So this was nice that it came as a like a little set. I was really pleased and I forget what I paid for it, but it's not very expensive. And then this is um, one of the stencils. You can see it's kind of really flowery and pretty. I'll keep it in the plastic because I want to keep these things protected. So maybe I'm overkill or something with this stuff right now. But as time goes on, I'll probably change my storage system and everything and just throw them in a big old bin or something. But for the time being, I want to keep them nice and neat. So well, I'll work with that later. But um. And then this one is just this kind of interesting little pattern here. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic. I'll leave it in there. And this one, which is one of my favorite patterns. I forget what this is called, but I love this pattern. You know, you see it a lot in the Regency and Victorian stuff. So I am going to have fun with that. And then again, these gorgeous, gorgeous borders. They're so pretty. I'm going to have a lot of fun on cards and, and everything with these. So that is going to be a lot of fun. And finally, guys, the last thing I got is a Bow Bunny It Is Written stamp, which you know me as a writer. So this is Bow Bunny, which from what I understand is a very, very good company. So again, all of this stuff is brand new to me. I've never had you know stamps like this. All this is new. So, but... This is what you get, 15 piece, it is written stamp set, bowbunny.com. You get this, it's just a, you know, a script to use. You get these music notes. You get another fancier script up here. And it is adorable typewriter, little, you know, numbers and, and the at sign, the ampersand. So yeah, this is what I got in my little crafty haul so I'm going to be like I said I'm going to be starting art journaling and card making this fall to set up my Etsy and um, yeah so I'm going to have a lot of fun learning how to use all of these unique little materials and all of this stuff so thank you guys so much for joining me if you like this video please give it a big old thumbs up and while you're at it click that subscribe button and I hope you have a wonderful morning after 
noon or evening, wherever you are, and I will be talking to you again soon. Bye-bye, guys, and thank you.